guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie Vlogs. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I make weekly lifestyle vlogs, soon to be um, twice a week lifestyle vlogs, but also some themed and fun ones um, here on my channel. This one is special because it is my Newfoundland trip. So my partner and I went to Newfoundland for a few weeks. So this is part one of a few, maybe two three probably um and yeah so i hope you enjoy and before we get started i just wanted to mention that the first few clips that you're going to see we won't be talking that much just because uh we spent the first few days in pelly's island which is where my boyfriend spencer's family's from so we spent some time there to see them um and also explore the beautiful area so yeah that'll be the first few things that you see and then we get into like all the different towns that we can hit up so yeah i hope you enjoy and thank you so much for watching Alrighty guys, quick family room tour. They have ladders because we have a four person cabin. So yeah, we have a four person cabin, but it was just what was left. We're gonna probably, we're just gonna use the bottom ones. We have a little porthole. It is a night crossing. So that's why it's in the night. Little desk, our TV, which is crazy. And then I believe this is our own little bathroom. So yeah, a little shower, toilet, mirror, vanity. Wow, pretty spacious. All right, we're gonna go to bed. We just took it to gravel. We'll see you in Newfoundland. <laughs> Good morning guys. All right, so we officially are in Newfoundland. We just got to a coffee shop that was recommended by Spencer's parents called Harbor Grounds in Corner Brook. I got a iced vanilla oat latte. It's really good. It's a little sweet, so which is fine. And then we both got a breakfast croissant. So it has egg, ham, cheese, spinach, tomato, and it looks very good. Yeah, so we're gonna eat this the first time we're eating. Um, yeah, the boat went really well. Um, honestly, I didn't feel it that much. There was some times that I felt it a little bit, but we took gravel to go to bed. Um, I had a harder time falling asleep than Spencer did, but we both didn't sleep amazingly, but I'm super tired this morning. Like, I always feel the effects after taking something that makes you drowsy and sleepy longer. Like, it'll probably take me all day. We have around two more hours to get to where we're staying for the first night, which is near where Spencer's family's from. And yeah, so I'll update you guys later when we get closer to that. everyone from Grand Falls, Windsor, here in Newfoundland. Um, we're just at the third wave, I believe, cafe. Um, we just got some coffees and yeah, we're gonna get some breakfast and then hit the road towards Twillingate and be, stay there for the evening. That's where our first big adventure is. Um, so looking forward to seeing all the beautiful sights and just relaxing there. We have a tiny home booked, which I'll obviously I'll show you. I hope you can hear me. There's a big dam right behind me, so there's the falls. Right there. But yeah, 
we're gonna have our coffee our food and then hit the road we just got our food <laughs> Ooh, i got a little breakfast wrap situation looks pretty good spencer got a breakfast sandwich oh my god they give you chips but it's Okay, so that was absolutely gorgeous. We just explored the beach. Now we're going to continue driving around. It's super windy. Uh, so far, my number one tip for Newfoundland is bring a hat, binoculars, and a hairbrush. Then you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a little tour of our tiny home Airbnb. So when you first walk in, has a majestic Spencer. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. Bay view over there. Cute kitchen area, living room. Very cute kitchen. That's so cute. It has a little bedroom. The shower's right there. Super cozy. Now I'm assuming that this is the bathroom. Yes, very cute. Separate little water closet area. That's the door. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so ignore that I have my skincare stuff. I just obviously showered. So anyways, we're gonna try some um, Crush flavors unique to Newfoundland. So we grabbed these at Spencer's Aunt's uh, convenience store slash restaurant slash gas station. Um, great place to stop in Pilly's Island at Spencer's Diner, named after the one and only, my boyfriend Spencer. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the one that Spencer grabbed. It's birch beer flavored, so cool. And the one that I wanted to try the most was lime. So here we go. So we're gonna give these a little taste. All 
Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the lime. Mmm, that's good. Super sweet. <laughs> but good. This is my favorite. It tastes like root beer to me. Mm. Tastes good. Sugary. <laughs> Definitely, I can't drink that whole thing to myself, but... Goodbye, tiny home. Goodbye. <laughs> we don't want to leave, it's so cute. Oh, no, I know. But we're headed to Fogo. It'll be nice. Hi everyone and welcome to Thursday. Good morning. We quickly packed up at the lovely little um, tiny home that we stayed in, um, which we were sad to leave, but we're excited today because we're going to Fogo Island, which we need to take a ferry for. So we just got to the ferry terminal um, about an hour ago. So if you're coming to Fogo Island, a few things, make sure you get to the ferry early because um, it doesn't take that many cars on. So you need to make sure, you know, we got here like an hour, an hour and a half early and it was just enough. Um, there are people being turned away at towards the end, so make sure you're here early. They do multiple trips throughout the day, but just something to keep in mind that if, you, if you're if you trying to get across by a certain time, get there early. And another thing is that make sure that you're in the correct line because the ferry goes to Change Islands and Fogo. So yeah, and I believe the Fogo ferry takes around an hour uh, trip. So yeah, we're about to head there. Uh, the ferry just arrived, we're watching people get off and we're just waiting for our turn to get on. So yeah, I'm very excited. Fogo looks absolutely beautiful. Um, we don't have anything planned other than just exploring and enjoying the views and I really am into photography and I, so we have some spots we're going to check out for that. Uh, the first spot for sure will be getting to a cafe for some f breakfast and um, coffee because we haven't had that yet. We wanted to be able to go to a coffee shop before coming here but th with the timing of trying to get here early the coffee shops were not open early enough for us. So. Anyways, of course, I'll show you around there. But yeah, that's the plan for the day. So a lot of this vlog, um, you'll notice, is a lot of just like beautiful views um, because that's what we're doing. We're just trying to admire and take in and, you know, just be around all these beautiful places. So yeah, anyways, I hope you're enjoying um, what you're seeing. But yeah, we're about to head on the ferry. And of course, I'll show you that and show you the island and woohoo, let's go. little living room, dining area, full kitchen. Spencer's opening the blinds, it's making a funny sound. Oh my goodness. Wow. Beautiful bathroom. not ready for this view look at how beautiful that is i'm literally crying guys <laughs> it's so pretty we're going up the stairs now get the rest of the tour there's the bedroom which cute little cottage bedroom over here i love the little green quilt and then another bedroom right here i didn't realize that there was two a beautiful bed right here Hey 
walls. So we're just walking up to the world-renowned <laughs> Fogo Island Inn. Um, we are not staying there because you, there's a two-night minimum and their cheapest um, rooms are $3,000 a night. So not in our budget. Anyways, we're gonna walk. <laughs> we're gonna walk up and go just see it and take pictures. So we just found this community center, basically, that there's like hiking trails, there's basketball, baseball diamond, herb garden, badminton. They have all the equipment too. View of the Fogo Island Inn over there. There's our Airbnb right there. Um, well, b and actually. So now we just came outside and enjoying the view. So yeah, I'm just enjoying walking around, feeling the breeze because it was so hot. I'm just sad that we're gonna leave. Like I wish we would have um, booked to stay here a little bit longer. Tomorrow we head for St. John's. Obviously that'll be fun too, but yeah. And I just found out that the sun is facing this way. Airbnb is right there, so we'll be able to watch the sunset. That'll be great. morning everyone um it is friday i had to think about that when i'm not working i don't know what day it is sorry for the background noise spencer's just helping me pack up um but yeah we just woke up around six in the morning we wanted to enjoy the beautiful sunrise um well not sunrise but beautiful sun as much as we could because it's another sunny day and we love how beautiful this place is anyway so we made breakfast um got ready slowly i need to obviously get changed um and then we're gonna head for the ferry so the ferry leaves around 11 10 it leaves at 10 so we're gonna leave here at like 8 so that we make sure that we can get on anyways guys so i'm gonna end the vlog here so thank you so much for watching again this is only a part one of two or three unsure yet uh newfoundland vlog so thank you so much again for watching i really hope you liked it um it was a lot of just beautiful views which i hope you enjoyed i will see you in the next vlog make sure to like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video it would help me out a lot and we are growing our community um i had like 30 subscribers for like the longest time and now right now when i'm filming this i'm up to 57 so that's crazy to me maybe we'll be up to 60 once this vlog is up. We'll see. Anyways, see you guys.